Welcome to this week's edition of The Pilot Report. I'm Emily Biggs. It was a big week of wins at the Child Center as the UP women's basketball team defeated previously unbeaten number 24 San Diego on Wednesday, while the UP men's hoops team toppled number 18 Gonzaga on Thursday. Here's a look at the celebrations following each team's victory. It looked like fun again. Not just a win, but just you, you approached it like you wanted to have some fun. We pushed the ball. Nice win, guys. Nice effort. Good job. Every guy's giving us something, every guy's giving us what they got, every guy's supporting the guy next to them, every guy's trusting the work that they put in, every guy's trusting their teammate, you're just doing a great job. Courage to take it to them, it's courage to take the game. Every time you guys just dug in there and just saying it wasn't always going to be pretty against good teams, but finding a way. After 28 years at the University of Portland, women's basketball head coach Jim Sollers announced that he will retire at the end of this season. Coach Sollers has led the Pilots to seven postseason berths while at the helm, including four trips to the NCAA tournament. He is the five-time West Coast Conference Coach of the Year, and he will exit with the second most conference victories in WCC history. UP will honor Coach Sollers throughout his final season on the bluff. The UP men's basketball team will hit the road for the first time in West Coast Conference play as they head south to take on Loyola Marymount and Pepperdine. There will be a pregame event in Los Angeles prior to the LMU game on Thursday night. For $25, you can get a ticket to the game plus pregame food and beverages. To RSVP, contact Melissa Hartlow. Also be sure to check out the Portland Pilots basketball radio show featuring head coach Eric Reveneau every Monday night on Sports 910 from 7 to 8 p.m. The Pilots' win over 18th ranked Gonzaga not only snapped a 20-game losing streak to the Bulldogs, but it was also their first win over the Zags at the Child Center since the 1995-96 season. Here's a preview of the upcoming Southern California matchups. Well, I'm looking for two big wins, definitely just to catch up. Uh, we feel like we uh, dropped about two here at home, so we have to make it up on the back end. The conference is so, so even right now that you can win on any given day or you can, uh, you can like lose. So we have to go out, play our best basketball and snatch a few. The Pilots women's hoops team will also be away from the Child Center as they begin a four game road trip. They will face Santa Clara on Friday at the Levy Center before taking on San Francisco on Sunday afternoon. UP ended San Diego's 15-game unbeaten streak to start the season last Wednesday. It was their first win over a ranked opponent since 2003. Here's what to look forward to this week with the Broncos and the Dons. Santa Clara and USF are both always really tough teams, but we know that if we play hard and if we play how we know how to play, then we'll be fine. And I'm personally excited because I get to see my family again, so I love going down to California, and we're looking for a couple wins. Part of a team's game day preparation is a short practice called a shoot-around. It's used by teams and coaches to get last-minute strategic preparation before an upcoming matchup. Here's a look into a UP women's basketball shoot-around with the help of junior guard Colleen Ollinger. Be sure to check out the full-length feature on Thursday at PortlandPilots.com. Yes, Pilots! Looks supposed to be incognito, guys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling four threes from you today, this, at least, baby. Come on, right side, right side, right side! Fly it, fly it, fly it, fly it! Thanks for joining us on this week's Pilot Report. Be sure to stay up to the minute on UP Athletics by following us on our social media outlets. And look out for a new feature every Thursday on PortlandPilots.com. For the Pilot Report, I'm Emily Biggs. We'll see you next Wednesday.